in Tacoma, Washington. I have a 1989 camper, a uh, Class C. All the lights are 12 volt. Five of the lights do not work. I'm assuming it's interior 12 volt lights, Joe. If it's exterior, you'll have to email me and let me know. But I, 12 of, uh, five of the lights do not work. I've checked the wiring, but still cannot find the problem. Uh, the dealer quoted me $600 to look for the problem. Any suggestions would be very helpful. Yes, I would look for another dealer that will charge less than $600. Certainly most professional shops that do troubleshooting and repair uh, have the ability to either find, fix, or advise you of the problem well within the first hour of their diagnosing time. So typically what you'll want to do is go to a shop that can sit, charge you a minimum of an hour, about, about, about an hour, and to able either find or fix the problem. Now if the lights are not working and fuses are not broke, uh, being blown, then typically you have an open circuit. And it could just simply be that a, that a connector somewhere in the cabinetry, somewhere in the circuitry of the DC side of your coach simply vibrated loose. You know, you've got this house literally rolling down the uh, highway so things are going to happen. You've seen the bumper sticker stuff happens or words to that effect. And basically the bottom lines is that terminals, connections, anything to do with the electrical system need to be clean, dry, and tight. You've heard me say those three words for, for over 34 years now in the column as well as in the live seminars. So again, it sounds like an open to me if you have access to any of the lights that do work and you can either tap into that or run a separate temporary 12 volt source to the first light that is not working and then see if that makes the rest of the lights work. If that's the case, that's a definitive open circuit and you'll just have to find a way to route a new wire to that first light so that that completes the circuit for the rest of them. Hope that helps.